mistakes. They're very imperfect, so you guys will have to deal with my mistakes. So I make a lot of them. Okay, so this is section um, 1-9, page 47, 1 through 49, even is the homework. Okay, so today we're talking about multiplying and dividing integers. So when you have a positive and you multiply it by a positive, what do you get? Positive. Another positive. If you have a negative and you multiply it by another negative, what do you end up with? Positive. A positive. So basically the rule is if you're multiplying two of the same sign, the same sign, the answer will be positive. Okay? If it's the same sign, it's positive. If I multiply a positive times a negative, um, we're going to get a negative. And if I multiply a negative times a positive, I get also a negative. So if the signs are different, we get a negative. So here, when the signs are different, we get a, a negative. And when the signs are the same, we end up with a positive. Does that make sense? Two, two numbers. So... This is the same rule for multiplication and division. All right, so let's do one sample. Um, so in number one, are the signs of both those numbers, are they the same or different? different. They're different. So what's my end result going to be? It's going to be a negative, and then I just multiply the numbers. Two times three is six. So if the signs... Since the signs, I have a negative times a positive, I'm going to end up with a negative. The signs are different, I end up with a negative, and then I just multiply the numbers. Okay? Are the signs the same on number two? Oh, I don't know. Are they the same or different? Same. Same. So is that ending answer going to be positive or negative? Okay, so it's going to be a positive, and 4 times 8 is? Positive 32. And I would like to see you tonight identify every number if it's positive or negative. Don't leave it blank if it's positive. Because we're going to start moving numbers around and variables, and you need to know if they're positive or negative. Okay? All right, so why don't you try number 3 through 6, go. And pause the recording. Okay, number three. Um, Sergio? Sergio. Um, okay, it's negative 24. Are the signs the same or different? Different. What kind of six is that? It's a positive six. And, uh, oh, wait, it's a positive 24. Good, so it's positive 24. The signs are the same. Yep. Okay. Positive times a positive makes a positive. Number four, please. Um, what is it? Hillary. Hillary. Okay, number four. Okay, and so are the signs? How are the signs? Are they? They're different signs. So our answer, our overall value is going to be negative. negative. And what's our final answer? Okay, next one. Um, let's go with um, Sarah. Okay, Sarah. The signs are different, so you would get negative 10. Negative 10, excellent. Okay, and then the last one, the last one, Mr. Morelos. Again, talk to me about the signs. Okay, I'm going to get a positive, and the overall answer is 30. Okay? Um, all right. All right, so I'm going to just skip this. So now let's talk about what happens if... Um, actually, I'm going to give you a little sidebar here. Let's talk about what happens if we have more than one number that we are multiplying together. Okay? Let's see if you guys can find a pattern. 
See if you can find a pattern. If I multiply a negative times a negative, what does the answer end up being? What does the solution end up being? Um, yes. It's positive, okay? So every two we're noticing here, when I multiply a negative times a negative, it's positive. Okay, and so what happens if I multiply a negative times a negative times a negative? What is that end result going to end up being? Ms. Stark? Um, I think it would be a negative. Okay. And then if I have, let's say, four different numbers that I'm multiplying, negative times negative times negative times negative. What do you think that's going to be? What do you think that's going to end up being, Ava? A positive. A positive. Now, wait, I want to go back really quick and say, why did she get that other one was negative? What makes you say that? Oh, um, I did negative times negative, which was positive. That makes a positive. And then times another negative, which would be negative. That's right. So when I had three, those two, she first mul multiplied those two together, got a positive, and then multiplied it by another negative, which made it negative. Okay, so now let's keep going. If I multiply, say, five negatives, negative times negative times negative <coughs> times negative times negative, what's my answer going to be, um, Catherine? It's going to be negative. How did you come to that? Okay, so she's saying that she multiplied right here. A negative times a negative is a positive. And that by, that by an, times a negative, and she got that is a negative. And then you're multiplying by that next one, which is a positive, and then you multiply by the last one, which is a negative. So she did all that. I'm seeing his hand is up. Do we see any patterns? Yes. Okay, what is the pattern that we are seeing here? Okay, since 5 is an odd number, then it's going to have to be a, 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 neg a negative because 2, for example, 2 times 2 is a negative 2 times 2. They're both negative, it's going to be a positive. And when you multiply by the next one, it's going to be a negative. So it's not actually the numbers, it's the amount of negatives. Yes. So these two make a positive, these two make a positive, and then I'm left with a negative. A negative. So every time you have twos, it will make it positive. Every time, so he's saying this is an odd amount, so it's negative. How many negatives do I have here? Three. And so my answer is negative. It's an odd amount. But here I have an even amount. This one's even. And this one is even. And you can see that makes a positive and that makes a positive. Positive times positive makes a positive. Does that make sense? Yep. Do you understand this pattern? So now let's try it with numbers. And actually... When we do this with numbers, can I erase this? When I do this with numbers, we don't even have to do the multiplying. Will this answer be positive or negative? Raise a quiet hand, a quiet hand, if you can tell me if this answer will be positive or negative. Um, Catherine, okay, and number two, number two, I see Olivia. Negative. Okay, why? And it's an odd amount of negatives. Okay, and number three. Number three, will that be positive or negative? How about Tiffany? It will be negative because how many negatives are there? And that's an odd amount. Okay, number four. Number four. Paulina? It'll be positive because it's a, how many negatives are there? Two. Two, and it's an even amount. So, okay, is it Daniela? Okay, then it is, uh, 
Okay, Alessandra, number five. That's right, because it's an odd amount. Number six, please. Henry. How many, how many negatives do we have? So it's an odd amount, so that makes it negative. Henry, number seven. Because I have an even amount. David. Positive. Positive for number eight. Number nine. Um, let's go Jessica. Okay. And number ten, please. What's your name? Josh. Josh. Okay. You guys get the idea? And then you just do your straight multiplying. So five times three is... 15, and it's going to be positive. And I want you to write that positive, because we're moving numbers everywhere pretty soon. Okay? So let's jump down and do number 3, number 5, and number 7. Go. About 3, 5, 6, and 7. Go. And you can pause the recording. Let's go with number four. Number four. What do the numbers multiply out to? What's your name again? Paris. Paris. Um, so two times one are both negative, so that's going to be a positive two. Mm -hmm. And times a positive six equals positive twelve. Perfect. That's a positive twelve. Okay, number five, please. Number five. How about, um, what's your name? Chris. Chris. Five is negative 42. Negative 42. Now, here's how I multiply this one. I use the commutative property. Because the commutative property helps me with my, I know my multiplication tables. I know that 2 times 3, I can multiply those two first, is 6, and then multiply it by 7, is 42. And a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative. I always do my sign work last. I check it first. I check it last because it's the number one error that people make in higher level math. They, they just start going so fast through the process. Get in that habit of checking your sign. Number six, answer is, um, somebody I haven't heard from, Catherine. Negative 20, good. And number seven, um, David. Positive 72. I think I would probably multiply these two, that's 12, and these two, that's 6, that's 72, and a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, thumbs up if that's clear to you. Now, very quickly, very quickly we're going to hit division because it's not that different. Okay, okay, same, same, um, it's basically the same thing. It's the same rule. Uh, look at me, I'm giving the answers away. Okay, um, same rule as multiplication. If it's the same sign, it's positive. If it's a different sign, it's negative. Or if you have an odd amount of negatives, the answer is going to be negative. If you have an even amount, it's going to be positive. So number one, will the answer be positive or negative, please? It will be negative. So I have negative, and what does 8 times 2 multiply out to? Huh? 8 times, oh, 8 divided by 2, sorry. 4, sorry. Okay, number two. Will the answer be positive or negative? Positive. It will be positive because I have an even amount, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. two. You understand the idea? It's not any different than multiplication. Okay? Give me a thumbs up if we're understanding. Thumbs down if we don't. Okay? All right, I'm going to, so this is basically it for 1-9. We're now taking a test. So if you missed today, you have to make up the, sorry, the quiz at 
Um, you're going to make up the quiz at Nutrition tomorrow.